Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Mercedes E-Class. That generation that you see right here from year 2010 to year 2016, this is Mercedes W212. If you have a problem guys where the AC air conditioner blows cold air on the driver's side but hot air on the passenger side, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It's 9 out of 10 times that uh, what we uh, tell you in that video will be the reason for that. It's not very expensive to fix. We'll explain where that part is located, what causes it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays. At a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure it's stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17, guys, this is the W212, guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car, why things do not work, why we're making this one, because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys, where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses, all you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video, one, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools, that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work guys, body work, a little bit of everything and we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in free repair videos, check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So guys, now. Uh, what can cause the air conditioner to blow out cold air on the driver's side, cold air on the passenger side? We will demonstrate on that generation Mercedes E-Class. This is the same generation, this is the one before the facelift, this is the one after the facelift, but it will work for both. Now, if we open the hood, guys, okay, first we need to uh, talk about something. The air conditioner, guys, okay, that's one of the air conditioner lines right here, that's the second one. Now, uh, you can easily check if the air conditioner is working by touching, okay, Okay, the high pressure line, see if it's cool, okay, if it's cold, it's working, just keep your fingers out of moving parts like belts or anything like that, only here around the top. Uh, one line will be hot, one will be warm, but if your air conditioner, guys, works on one side and not on the other side, usually the problem is not the AC, it's not the compressor, it's not Freon, it's not um, uh, pressure switch or anything like that, it could be something really simple, but before we continue, let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So, we will guys recommend to always check the climate control fuses because you have a dual or triple zone climate control in your Mercedes E-Class. That means that the passenger and the driver's side temperature can be adjusted separately. 
Now check your fuses for the climate control. We have the video on the channel climate control fuse on Mercedes W212. Another thing, if you get cold air on the driver's side, hold on the passenger, it means one thing, your air conditioner works perfectly fine, but behind the dash you have two motors, two devices that are known as blend door actuators. What they do, they practically have a flap that they're attached to that uh, uh, changes the temperature from hot to cold. Uh, and uh, if they're not working, usually a gear will be cracked, worn out you may even hear skipping behind the dash when you start the car or changing the temperature that could be an early sign of failing blind door actuator uh, that means that it cannot turn that flap it's skipping and as a result it will be stuck in hot position and that's why you get hot air on the passenger side most of the times it will be bad blind door actuator if you want to see how to test blind door actuator or how to replace one we have a video on the channel check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time